Hey everyone, welcome back. Dev Spider here again. So we're going to jump right into this. Dracolin's currently AFK, but he's chilling over there by the thrones. Uh, we just finished off Modder, so let's go ahead and build our artisan table. And we're going to see if we can just put it right here. It's going to allow wooden missile, stone oven, and I missed the other one. Windmill and the spinning wheel. So we've got a bunch of new crafting that we can get to. So the wooden missile, I'm assuming that's for the new ballista. So we'll get to that uh, probably as soon as we get to the goblin village and figure out how to build all this other stuff. Let's take a look. Okay, spinning wheel is going to take some iron nails, some fine wood, leather scrap. So we can go ahead and build one of those. The windmill, same thing. It's going to take some stone too. And the blast furnace, that's the one that I missed. So we need to get the blast furnace built. And it has to be within range of an artisan table. So I'm going to have to go grab some more certling cores because we're currently out from all the teleports we've built. So we still need to build the obliterator also. Hopefully I've got room for all that here. We also have the stone oven that we're going to need to set up in the kitchen. So I guess I'll go gather up some of these resources while Drax AFK. Then we'll go hit up a goblin village and see what we can get from them. Hey everyone, welcome back to Valheim. So today, as promised, we're going to start sneaking into a goblin village or the Fooling village. So when you're on the plains, which is where they're located at, we're going to have to search quite a few, most likely, to find everything we're looking for. Watch out for death skeetos. Watch out for the locks. The death skeetos will still hit really, really hard. The goblins themselves can hit pretty hard. So I'm going to ease in here. I'm going to try to clear the whole village. I've got one coming right at us right now. They blend in really well out here too, so be careful because <laughs> they can sneak up behind you. Um, they can mob you too from here. So let's ease in here and see how many of these we can knock out. Watch out for the ones on the towers. They'll shoot or throw spears at you, if I remember correctly. Save a little bit of stamina, you can just pull back when they swing at you. Usually they try to kite around you. I can't hit anything today. <laughs> Keep up with their loot because you don't want to get what they drop. Just upgraded bows make it work easy. So what we're looking for with them right now is we want their black metal scrap. We're going to use that later. Now besides that, inside the villages should be the things that we need. Also, while you're on the plains, look out for ruins, castles, and anything like rock formations that look like they're made, man-made type structures. At those castles and the man-made structures, you should be able to find the epitaphs that'll tell you where to... Wait, are those guys charging me? Yeah. Yeah, so here's a spear thrower. Watch out for them. These guys just keep coming. I need a melee weapon to make this easier. But we're still using the iron mace. Uh, I'm ready for an upgrade. Maybe we'll find something here that will allow us to upgrade to a better weapon or maybe one of the new workstations when we get them all built. Now there's also goblin shamans and berserkers here so watch out for those guys. They're a little bit harder to kill. Let's see if we can't get this one on the tower. I need to zoom in. I don't know why I'm zoomed out so far. So there's a little field here too in the village. That's one of the things we're after. It's going to be a new resource for us, a new crop. Oh, there's still a lot of these guys left. I thought I killed most of them. We definitely want to watch out for that one star, especially if it's, yeah, it's a spear thrower. He will definitely rock our world. Yeah, see that? That's like 30 hit points gone. And he's not taking like any knockback compared to the rest. Wow, there's a whole mob of them coming for me. We can run away if we need to. They'll eventually de-aggro. I think we'll be fine. Still have potions. Okay, looks like we managed to clear the village out completely. So now let's go ahead and take a look. We've got some dandelions that they've planted here. What we want is this flax though. So we're going to have to grab some of that. It's a new material. We're going to take all of this back with us. See what we've got in the chest. We've got some barley. We want that too. Barley also gives us the fire resistance potion. That's going to come in handy really, really soon. We can get some of the mosquito stingers here too. Some death mosquito stingers. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything in the top of this place. And we'll loot these last couple of chests that are located here. See what else we can find. So with the death mosquito stingers, that's where you can use that to build some of the better arrows. Some of the top tier ones. It's right above obsidian. Obsidian is just easier to get, so that's what we currently are using. Well, I'm using wood in the last of the flint just to free up the inventory space. And then we'll climb this tower, get that last body of the guy we killed that was up here. And take a look around, see if we don't see any landmarks or anything else that we need. We'll clear the rest of the plains, just being careful of the death mosquitoes. So we didn't find anything here. We didn't get any to totems. We didn't get any of the uh, berserkers or shamans. shamans. Uh, usually those, I think, are found in the villages that have like the really big fires built. So we'll have to locate some of those. I need to be careful over here. I know there's death mosquitoes over here. I like to hit them with bows um, and wait for them to start coming in at you to attack you. Because they'll fly in like a straight line so they're really easy to hit. Surprised I actually haven't run into any yet. Let me see. I need to mark this map. That 
uh, this point now that we cleared it and there's nothing here. I'm gonna get back to farming these guys, go drop this stuff off, go find some more villages, and uh, I'll share anything else. Right there. Oh, actually, right here is a dead mosquito. He's coming right for us in a straight line, so we'll just shoot him in the face. Usually they travel in pairs, so watch out for the second one. And a lot of times they'll come up right behind you when you're not paying attention. I'd kill some more locks, I'd like to get some more of the meat, but they're kind of time consuming to kill. I haven't actually tried killing them with the new bow. I'm sure with the obsidian arrows and the new bow they probably go down pretty fast. But I think that's all we need from here. So I'll see you once I find something else that's uh, noteworthy. Real quick before I head back out, I wanted to go ahead and build these new items that we picked up from yesterday. I had to mine cores so I didn't get it done on the last video, or the last session of recording. So here we're going to need 20 stone, 15 iron, and some cores. So we're going to build the brick stove, or brick oven. Let me see where it's at. Actually, we need to have an artisan table, so let me go grab that first. Okay, so we tempted in an artisan table right here. Hopefully, I can get here and back. <laughs> uh, we'll just put the oven over here for now. So it's a stone oven. Again, it's 15 iron, 20 stone, 4 cores. All right, so now we can bake stuff in there. I'm not sure what we can bake, if we can bake anything yet. I don't have any recipes and I can't click on it. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to come up with that when it's time. Now we need to take this back to the other side. Take this over here and then we're gonna build the new furnace. And you can see we've been improving the base, slowly getting it put together. So I've got some more beehives over here. I've got some over there. Went ahead and ripped out some of the concrete here and planted. So we've got turnips, on or onions right here, turnips over there, two rows of carrots. I actually need to grab an onion. Maybe that'll give us the recipes. Alright, so we've got onion, onion soup, and wolf skewer. Right, uh, let's see, where do I want to put this? Maybe I don't want to put it in that corner because it's so low. I guess we can set it over here for now. Keep that under the roof line so we can actually craft on it when it's time. And then for the next thing we're going to build, it's going to be the blast furnace. So that's 20 stone, 10 iron. And 20 fine wood, so I need to go grab some more stone, I believe. I don't think I have any left over here. Okay, we've got the materials now, so let's see if we can place this right here. Hopefully there's enough room. So the blast furnace, is, oh, it's quite large. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen one of these. Hopefully that's not too tight. We'll just squeeze it there and move it later if we need to. And then the next item is going to be the spinning wheel. So this also needs to be near an artisan table. It takes five leather scraps. 10 iron nails and 20 fine wood. Let's just set this in the middle of everything. Why not? <laughs> Again, we'll find place for everything to look nice later. And I'm out of stamina, so I can't build. There we go. Throw the iron down on the ground. We're good to go. And let's just place this guy about right here. Won't be in the way of anything there. So we add our flax to this, and we'll get something out of it. Let's see. I think the flax I left over there another crate let's see if we can figure out the blast furnace really quick i guess we still why can't i carry that i guess because i threw it down so let's grab some coal and let's grab like half a stack of this now where do i put everything inside okay here we go got two holes here so coal so it can hold up to 20. and then we'll put the silver or black metal scrap into this side that should give us some new recipes for sure let's go grab that what was it flax or barley flax. Let's go grab the flax and see what happens then. Alright, so I got the flax. Let's go ahead and add some of that. And then let's grab this metal and see what we get. Black metal shield, black metal tower shield, pots and pans. <laughs> Alright, tons of stuff to build. Now do they add the recipes here or are they going to be on the other crafting station? There's the black metal metal shield. It takes five chains, eight pieces of black metal. Tower takes seven chains, ten black metal. And then over here on the artisan table we have black metal missiles. It takes one black metal, ten wood. And let's grab what's coming off the uh, spinning wheel and see what we get from that. Padded cross, padded greaves, black metal, ad I can't pronounce that. Black metal axe, linen cape, padded helmet, and the black metal knife. Porcupine, black metal sword, and a lock saddle. So the black metal at gear, 30 black metal to make, 105 pierce damage from it. it takes five linen thread. Also, see the black metal axe does 100 slashing damage. Padded helmet. So that's the next set of armor that we're going for. We'd like to get this before we fight the next boss. Max that out if possible. So we're gonna have to make a lot more iron runs because we're currently running out of iron. It's gonna be 10 iron and 15 linen thread. So we're gonna need a lot more of the. Uh, Flax, which to plant flax, I believe we're going to need to be on the plains, like have a farm on the plains, and I think that's also where we have to grow the barley. I'll contest it in our fields in just a second. The porcupine, 50 blunt, 45 piercing. That's 95 damage with it. Takes fine wood, iron, needles. 
from the Death Skeetos and Linen Thread. Black Metal Sword, I'd like to build one of those. It's going to take 20 Black Metal, 5 Linen Thread. It's 95 Slash Damage. How's that compared to the Silver Sword? Silver Sword does 105 if you count the Spirit Damage. I wonder if Silver Sword would be better. The Silver Sword takes 40 Silver, so it'd take us a while to get that thing upgraded. The Black Metal would be a lot faster. I'm sure we'll eventually get it all built. This is going to take some time and a lot of gathering. Alright, so let me grab the Cultivation Tool and we'll take a look and see what we can plant here. New Build Piece, Seed, Onion, Barley, and Flax. So if you want more seeds from something, you have to actually plant the item. So in this case, if we pick this onion, we have to replant it, and then it would grow the seed version to give us more seeds. I need to actually cultivate this part. I don't want to do it until we pick everything. I still need to clean up my edges some on these, but if you try to clean them up while stuff's growing, it'll kill the cultivation, which will kill the plant. So let's equip our tool, right-click with it, and I stored everything, <laughs> of course. So let's grab that stuff and then we'll take a look. But I'm pretty sure this can, certain things can only grow in certain areas. I think we have to be in the plains to grow this. Alright, so there's our flax. I'm going to try to plant it here and see what it says. Huh, I guess we can grow flax here, so it says it's healthy. I guess I can uh, pick all this, these onions and then... Oh, there it goes. Can't grow in this environment. Okay, so it just took a second. I don't think we can get that back either. Not that big of a deal. We need to go and uh, farm up everything else anyways. For that, also with the oven, I believe that means we're going to need to make the windmill. So we'll just have to build us like a little outpost on the plains to grow crops and everything in. So I'll have to find a semi-safe spot for that. I guess I can work on that right now so that I have a place to take everything as we find it. Hey guys, so Drew and Death Spider here again. So we found a really big <laughs> village on the plains. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this up. The shamans are really dangerous. Uh, we're going to focus the one stars too that are fast. Actually, we might have to retreat. I think we aggro too many. Pull back. So a good way to fight these guys is to find a really big rock they can't get on top of. Unfortunately, the only big rock near us is next to a tar pit, and tar pits are really, really, really dangerous. But that's a berserker, or, and you want to watch out for them, they will kill you <laughs> immediately. Getting us some friendly help. Yep, always good when the ads fight each other. It helps a lot. So these guys, have, like I said, they do tons of damage. They have tons of hit points. Uh, some are weaker than others. Yeah, we're rolling tier 4 bows with obsidian arrows right now, and he's still just taking it like a champ. These guys have a chance to drop the item that we need. Yeah, so if, you might not want to attack this stuff at nighttime, guys, because there's so much coming at us at once. Because we're in between a swamp, the plains, and the dark plains. Watch your bow durability. Okay, so I was talking about like right by that rock is what looks like a small pond. If you get close to it, it's tar. Stuff gets stuck in it and around it. But there's these giant black slimes in there. They have really far-reaching ranged attacks that will steal your stamina and do a ton of damage to you. So you make sure if you're going to fight that, the best way i found is to just hit them from a long, long ways away. Or wait until a horde of goblins walk by and they fight each other. Then just kill off the ones that are left. Alright, now that it's daytime, we can see if we can get the rest of the way in this village. We should have... At least the bottom village. <laughs> because I think it should be pretty clear. There should be a shaman unless we killed him already. The shamans are really squishy. They die in like two shots. So don't be too scared of them. But they do hit hard. Another shaman coming. He just shielded himself. Yeah, so when he hits, he hits hard, and he sets you on fire. So make sure you have health pots. You break his shield, and then you should be able to burn down in two shots. Another shaman looks like coming down off the hill. 
So hopefully we can get in this village, I can show you the other items that we're currently after. Perfect. <laughs> Just where we need them. So these guys drop the silver, silver, black scrap metal and coins and trophies so far. That's all we've seen. Hey guys, and if you look on my hotbar right now in slot two, that's what we're after. Of course, as I go to talk, we get attacked again. All right, so if I hover over this, it's a fooling totem, and we need five of those, I believe, to summon the boss. We still need to find the boss's spawn location too. So we're still looking for the little emblems that'll show where it's at. Okay, guys, I think we finally made it into this village. <laughs> Uh, there's a ske uh, death skeeter behind here too. He might be far enough away. He won't mess with us right now. So this is the flax. We're, again, we're gonna take all that. We're gro currently growing some now too. Yeah. This, so these are the checkpoints where they can possibly spawn. Besides the Stonehenge-looking rocks. Hey everyone, welcome to the farm. So we built some raised walls here, in order to get this farm planted and growing. And we leveled the ground out some. We put up the windmill. You need an artisan table nearby. So we, I brought the artisan table over here. Built it. Built the windmill. We've been growing flax, which gives us the better padded armor, which you can see me wearing now. Mine's currently upgraded to level 2. Uh, it makes life a lot better. You take hits a lot <laughs> without taking hardly any damage, except the locks still hit really hard. Uh, mosquitoes still hit kind of hard too, but it's not a big deal. So with the windmill going, once you get enough barley and you've planted enough of it, you come to the back of it, you put the barley in, it can hold up to 50. It needs wind blowing, so when the wind's blowing it'll spin and then it'll put out flowers. So let's see what we get from that. Oh, actually, I forgot my inventory is full. Let me stash some stuff over here. All right, so new material, barley flour. So we're going to go back to the cauldron. We're going to build the upgrade for that one and get it going. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. Now that we're back at base, let's go ahead and make our pots and pans upgrade for the cauldron. So we're going to get that done. I've got the uh, resources on me already. It's going to take five iron, five copper, five black metal. Again, for the black metal, you're going to need the blast furnace to do that. So let's see if we can find a spot to hang this. Might have to build a rack. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's got to go on a wall, so I'm going to put up a temporary wall, so let's take care of that. And we'll do some rearranging later, because that looks kind of janky to me. <laughs> Oh, it still doesn't like that spot. Uh, it says cauldron improvement. Surely it's close enough right there. Alright, they're good. Just, they just needed more space because the spice rack was in the way. So we're going to put it on this wall for now. And new recipe. Cauldron level 4. Blood pudding. Bread dough. Unbaked lots pie. So we've got some new stuff. So we've got the bread dough. It's going to take 10 of the barley flour. I'm assuming that's what we use to bake. Let's craft a piece of that. Right, so we got two pieces of bread dough. Let's see what the new recipes are. So blood pudding gives us 25 health, 75 stamina. So that's really good if you need stamina food. Then we've got fish wraps. It's going to take four flour, two cooked fish. That's 70 health and 23 stamina with four hit points a tick for 25 minutes. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully you've been saving your fish or doing some fishing. Uh, we really haven't done much fishing. Jacqueline did a little bit, but for the most part, we just gathered them on the beaches during storms. So with this bread dough, we should be able to use the oven now, right? So let's see, can we bake that? I'm assuming I'm going to have to put some wood in this thing somewhere. There we go, add wood at the bottom. And we're baking some bread. I bet we can burn it, so we're going to wait here and see what it takes to finish. I'd assume we can probably hold up to four. We can try to craft some. Well, I'm scared to try to craft some because I'm scared it'll burn. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we got four pieces of bread baking that to me appears to be max, just based on the space. I'm not sure if the doors being open or shut helps. <laughs> So 
right, so I heard the noise go off saying that it was done, so I got the new item bread. The other two pieces are still baking. Bread gives us 23 health, 70 stamina, so really good stamina food. It lasts 25 minutes with two hit points. Uh, it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's great. Uh, the bread's probably better used on the fish wraps. So besides that, we're about to go try to find us the sea serpent hunt down. We're just waiting on Drag to get his armor. So as you can see, the blast furnace is wide open. That's making our black metal scrap. We've got the arcane table over here. Again, that's just currently for ballista bolts. Put your flak. You can put 40 flax into the spinning wheel at a time. That's what you're going to use to make your padded armor plus iron. And the padded armor at level 1 is equal to a maxed out set of silver armor. So if you don't want to mine all the silver in the world, as long as you don't mind the risk, just hit the plains, go snag you some flax from the goblin villages, bring it back, and just plant it until you have enough to make your padded armor. You're still going to have to fight and kill Modder though first, because you need their tears, so you can build the artisan table. But real quick while I'm here too, so we're going to have to build us a harpoon, which is located under the workbench, and it's going to be down here at the bottom, the abyssal harpoon. So to go sea serpent hunting, you're going to need this. I'd also recommend using the big ship, it just makes life a little easier. So let me get uh, one or two of these made up and then we'll go see about finding us a sea serpent because that should unlock even more recipes for us. So this is one of the things you have to mine. So you see this out in the ocean. Uh, we've called it a turtle, but it's actually a sea kraken. And he's already shook once, now he's shaking the second time, so he's about to go back under. On his back, as you can see, Dracolin just jumped back on. I forgot my pickaxe. Uh, you can mine the barnacles on his back. You can see some right there on the front where the sail just dropped down. Uh, those are what you mine and you're going to need those to get the harpoon to go sea serpent hunting like we're doing now. It also gives you some daggers and stuff too. And we're just grabbing a little bit extra. We do have a harpoon on us right now. I can show you what that looks like. So here's the harpoon. And you just throw that uh, at the sea serpent. We've got our bows and arrows too so we can fight him. So we'll get to that as soon as we find one. We're just cruising around looking now. Alright guys, so here's a sea serpent over here. He should come up and yell at us in a second if he does like they normally do. As soon as he comes up, we'll have him follow us a little bit, then we'll hit him with the harpoon. He'll follow us. Alright, he's harpooned. You'll get that message when he's successfully harpooned. So we should be able to drag him towards the shoreline now and kill him. Probably should have weakened him some first. <laughs> I don't know if I can swap weapons. I guess I could try. Are we going to drag him to the swamp? <laughs> it's close to the land I see. Yeah, we'll make it work. So you can see he's trying to get away now because we're out of his spawn path. I think we should have weakened him first though. But I'll try to hold him while you shoot him. Oh, no, he released. He got off. He's too far from his to spear again. I guess I can't hit it while he's yelling at us. Hey, he's harpooned. He's staying really close, I guess, because he's harpooned. <laughs> and yeah, there goes one break. Giving her all she's got, bro. Make sure you keep the harpoon up. Yep, I'm are you, able to, are you able to do it again while he's already harpooned? Uh, no, he's released. Yeah. It doesn't let you do it while you got him harpooned? No, it uses my stamina. So, while, while he's hooked. It uses he's, what? He's hooked again. It uses stamina while you're holding him. That's what's... Oh, okay. Alright, well, when, it, when he got off, it, really, it went, took my stamina to zero. Slow down just a little bit, I think. No, never mind. Keep going. He's catching up. I don't know if we can get this guy back like this. <laughs> it's gonna break free in this any second now, I'm sure. And when it breaks, you're gonna have to probably turn left or right so I can hit him again. See if I can't pull him in closer. Should we get close to the land? I see Ron's popping up. He's released. He's harpooned again. I hope we can take some more hits. <laughs> he's released. And he's harpooned. It says he's harpooned. I don't we see the rope. Yeah, I don't see the rope hanging off me right now. He's released again. What the hell, man? 
I can't hit him. Okay, he's harpoon again. I hope the boat makes it. <laughs> Where I was there, bro, just keep him. I'm going to just crash his in the shore for now. Okay, I'm trying to keep him. He's released. How did he get loose again? I'm out of stamina. I'm still out of stamina. I got him. I think. Oh, he's released again. What the hell, dude? Kill him if you can. <laughs> he, he, keep, he keeps letting him free. And he's free again. What the hell, dude? I can't get him on land. Try to keep him pissed off. He's Alright guys, that was a bit harder than it should have been, but we finally got him on land. I think he was getting released because I was getting too far away from him, and he was getting stuck on rocks. So we got the new Serpent Scale, Serpent Beat. And the trophy, so we can make heavy fishing bait with that. So that guy is a Sea Serpent <laughs> hunting. That was a bit rough and chaotic. Like I said, I think I needed to get farther away from the boat and rocks, and he kept getting hung up, and I kept breaking it. I was hoping we'd get more recipes than that, but I guess that's all we get. Hey everybody, me and Jacqueline are back, so we've been busy farming and stuff. I've got Max upgraded gear, Drax halfway upgraded in the new padded armor. So this is the Stonehenge type stones I was saying to look out for. Uh, you can find a boss marker here, so let's go ahead and check out where our boss is, where he's right here on this island. Oh no, he's not. He's down below us where we were originally going to go. So we're going to sail down there in just a second, now that we know where to go. We need one more totem, so we're going to hit this pro village right here on top of us. Hit this guard post first. They can have totems and boss markers in them too. So if you see these little castle-like structures, there's usually two to four of the goblins in those. But it's better than a village where you're going to get mobbed by berserkers and shamans. And now that my gear is maxed out, so my wolf cape's maxed, my padded armor's maxed. Here, Drax, stand next to me. Like, so Drax set two. So I've got uh, 100 armor. What armor are you at, Drax? 87 with uh, tier 3 Karaz, tier 2 helm, tier 2 body tier one shape uh, yeah so now we can take pretty good hits from anything and everything on the planes and right here is the last total we need to summon the boss so this worked out nice and yeah, that one star still hits pretty hard Hey, we got three more coming. All right, guys, so we're going to go here I'll, and then get one of these totems that's on this pole right here. You can see them at night really easy because they glow purple, just like the dragon eggs. And here it is right here, a fooling totem. So we're going to go check out that new boss, guys, now that we got the five totems. And once we get done sailing there, we'll check it out. Well, everyone, we finally made it. We found what are the giant fingers of Yagolith. Sorry if I mispronounced that name. Me and Jacqueline calling here. We just fought across these planes to get here. And uh, yeah, this is where you spawn the boss at. So as you can see right here on top, we need five of those totems to offer here. It should give us the clue on this. Runestone. And his dying soul was split and shared among all his kin. So again, for that, it's these little white stones up here. The fooling totems. We can see if we can go ahead and add the one that I have on me. Yep, so just like that. Uh, we've got four more at the base already, so we're going to head back to our teleport. Uh, we might move it a little bit closer to this just in case we die so we can get back to our bodies really fast. And we'll see you guys in just a minute for the fight. Uh, for the fight, you're going to want to get the best food that you're able to make, like fish, tacos, the seafood monster food, and the lox pies are really good. 
On top of that, you're going to want to have good gear. Bows are not going to be very effective here, so we're going to just hit him with our black swords and see how that goes. So straight up melee fight. We're going to have potions, and we're definitely going to want fire resistance potions. Those are mandatory for this fight. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to go in. We're going to pop our food here at the fire. So we're going to be eating some lox beet pie, sea serpent stew, and fish wraps. Well, if my guy wasn't full, I would. I'll pop mine once we get to the fight. So we've got our totems on us, and we've made some frost arrows. We have also have the fire resistance barley wine and health potions. We, I have a maxed out black metal sword, maxed out Dragor Fang, maxed out black metal tower shield, and all my armor's maxed out. So I guess I'm ready, Drax, since my food's not ready. I'm gonna pop for the big hit points. Yeah, that was a 248 food. And you see how that the elder head is talking to us even though it's mounted to the wall? Or at least it popped up on my screen, he was talking to us. I wasn't looking. I'll have to check yeah. the recording once, uh, once we get there, that's cool. Yeah, we, we're still working on getting our heads mounted right. Some of them are too high, some too low. Which portal is it? <laughs> uh, the planes. And we went ahead and moved our teleport right here so we'd be closer. And we've got a tar pit, tons of goblin villages all around us. But this fight, we're going to want to kite right here. And if you want to range fight him, you're going to want frost arrows. They work the best. You pick up the totems? Yeah, yeah, I got the totems. I was hoping my food would wear off so I could get that big, big boost. Alright guys, so we're going to get spawned by hitting the little altar below the five totems. Hopefully my hit points get the rest of the way up. They're at 160. Pop a fire point. potion. Yeah, pop a fire potion now too. Good, good call, Drek. Watch out for that meteor strike that he just called down. <laughs> So you can cut him around the center stone if you need to, or cut him around the fingers. So I'm up to 246 hit points right now. Yeah, get him off that centerpiece because I can't get up there and swing at him. Yeah, I gotta pull back. He hit me for 100 points of damage to meter strike. It looks like green damage when I shoot him. I don't see his bar moving at all. So you get, a good way to kite him is just staying on his tail and he'll just spin the whole time. And then just run away from the meteor strike. And It's hard trying to sneak in and grab a screenshot. <laughs> Every time we get close, he turns around. <laughs>
Well, y'all can see why the fire potions are mandatory because he's setting us on fire constantly and it's still a 1.4 tick. I have these fingers, guys. You can't. It's fire breath, and his meters can't hit you. Whatever fire damage uses is six. He's looking at you instead of me. Keep getting stuck in his little arms. Right there, getting there, get some hits on. My healing potions are still down right now. I've been hit by the meteor twice. Fire resist potions down to 30 seconds. Alright. Three goblins on me. I'll be busy for a minute. I'll try to keep him distracted. Hell, he might kill him. I don't know. See if it does more damage. Forty, ninety three, forty three, fifty. I think swords better, I don't know. I'm hitting forty four, fifty five, and occasional one fifty. Yeah, swords are definitely better if I just a little bit.
Almost got him. He's almost there. Bam! Got him. Torn Spirit Wisp Fountain Yagaluth Trophy. And the crow. Is he white? He looks white to me. Yeah, he's white. Well met, Wanderer. I am Moonin, brother to Hugin. I bring greetings from the All-Father. His eyes sees through mine. I carry his words beneath my tongue. Keep his ways and I will come to you again. That's a good time to see the two brothers, two brother crows with the new Records of Ragnarok episodes on Netflix dropping today. Or the new season, I guess I should say. And you got me playing video games? Yeah, bro. We're doing it for reals. Alright guys, so that's the final boss fight, as you can see it. We figured out that uh, just sit on his tail and just hit him from behind. He'll quit throwing meteors and just spin the whole time. And besides that, it's a pretty quick and easy fight. Let me zoom in here. I'm going to get a screenshot again. Yeah, let's go get our power too, see what it is. All right, yeah, let's uh, hit the teleport and we'll head back and see what our new power is. That was, Now, see, that was a boss fight. That was fun. All right, guys, so here we are back at the original starting point. It's starting to glow really nice. <laughs> so we can get the seal opened. Uh, let's go ahead and put the boss's trophy on and see what we get. Resistance for us, magic damage and lightning damage. I think I'm gonna grab that power because we're about to head into the Mistlands. I'm gonna hold my phone mess, I think. So I guess I'm gonna need to run over there. Okay, new power is activated. We are ready to go. It's time to go hunt down this guy. Uh, we've been being dragged, neither one of us has ever been to the Mistlands, so we're going to see how that works out. <laughs> we haven't watched any videos or content on it, so hopefully we don't make too many mistakes. Uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.